Tom Reed of New York is co-chair of the Problem Solvers Congress uh, Caucus. And Congressman, it's great to have you here. What is your expectation for uh, the passage of a COVID relief bill this year? Uh, I'm still optimistic because uh, the American people need it. Uh, there is still need for targeted relief uh, across America. And the good news is, is what we were trying to do in the Problem Solvers Caucus at its heart is show that you could have a bipartisan deal. And most importantly, to get the stakeholders back in the room. And with Steven Mnuchin talking with the speaker, uh, that is one of our ultimate goals. And they're having good faith, substantive conversations, is my understanding. And we're continuing to work with the White House. So uh, these are good signs that there's a compromise still yet to be had. We were just having this discussion, but I'm, what do you think the odds are of aid for the restaurant industry in particular and the movie industry as well? You know, I think there's a need across all spectrums, uh, not just particular industries like restaurants and uh, live venues, movies, what have you, airlines and others. But you, know, you also look at small businesses. You look at the individuals that have lost their jobs. And so that's why uh, this need is significant. And the Paycheck Protection Program also has shown success. We need another round of that. And uh, we need to get through uh, this uh, cliff because we're not going to get a deal, in my humble opinion, on December 11th because the chaos after the election is still going to be there and the animosity between the two sides is going to be greater then than now. Now is the time to do the deal. And we just encourage our leadership as well as uh, the folks in the Senate. Let's get this done because we don't know what's going to happen. And don't bank on the fact that after the election, you're going to be able to give relief to the American people because I don't see it. Now is the time to get it done for the yeah. people back home. What are the biggest sticking points, the areas uh, of aid where it's only one party or only the other who pretty much wants to move forward? Well, I, I don't think that's necessarily that's one or the other. But, you know, there's been contention about unemployment insurance that, uh, you know, people being getting more money uh, off of uh, work and on unemployment than also the issue of state and local aid obviously has been a contentious issue. But what we did in the Problem Solvers Caucus is say you can work that out if you actually listen to each other and come to a reasonable conclusion. And so I think we've demonstrated with 50 members, 25 Democrats, and I co-chaired on the Republican, Republican side with 25 Republicans, you can do it because we got well over 75% consensus to issue that Problem Solver Caucus seal of endorsement. And I, I will tell you, you can work through this if you put the American people's interests first, and that's what it's all about. How do you come down on the cost of, of this bill? I think even yours is a trillion and a half. So tell me what you would tell those who say, can, the, can we afford it on the deficit front? What's it doing to the national debt? How do you kind of offset that bill uh, against the very great need right now? Yeah, I, I look at the, the long-term picture. I mean, obviously, I'm very concerned about the national debt crisis. Uh, I, I'm very concerned about where we are positioned ourselves in regards to $26 trillion in national debt. But I got to tell you, Doing nothing uh, has dramatic consequences uh, uh, in regards to what it's going to do for long-term damage to the economy with industries collapsing, with people going without. And so that this investment I see as a necessary investment short term. And then we look at what we did to rebuild the economy prior to COVID-19. You know, what President Trump did in regards to the growth that we saw, the huge amount of growth, we have the capacity and the productivity in the American economy to grow. And so we have to get through this crisis and then come out on the other side stronger. And then we'll take care of this deficit and this debt that clearly has to be addressed. Well, and that raises the question as well about who would be spearheading the economy for the next four years. Uh, as you mentioned, as that's in flux, so too is the fate of this bill. We'll see if we get anything on it today or this week. Congressman Tom Reed, thank you, sir, for your time. We appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.